Jordan from Uno Media here, and one of the most important things to run a successful Google Ads campaign is your keyword research. In this video, we're going to take you through how we do it to help you out. So stay tuned. At Uno Media, we help companies grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and marketing techniques. From websites to automated sales funnels, social media content, and much more. We're constantly releasing new material on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Also, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. Just before you get going, I want to quickly tell you about our exclusive offer. We are giving free access to our paid Hub You Know platform to the first 50 people who click the link in the description below. This offer is going on all of our YouTube videos, so hurry and click it to get your place. Within Hub you know, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on running a successful Google Ad campaign. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content. So remember to click on the link in the description. So after that, let's get on with the video. The first thing to focus on when you're beginning a Google campaign is keyword research. The keyword research is done using the Google Keyword Planner. This stage is essential. Here you can search for keywords and Google will give you other suggestions as well as showing you the potential cost per click, the level of competition and how often they are searched for. You can also get keyword data for a specific geographical area. With all this information you can then build up a glossary of relevant keywords to try out in your campaigns. The best way to do this is to show you. So let's have a look at how it's done. So we start from the home screen of Google Ads and if you have a look at the top here we're not looking down this side because it's all stuff to do with your adverts when you set them up. We're going to have a look at tools and settings. So if you click on tools and settings, you'll see these drop down menus. Now we find the keyword planning section in planning. So we can click the drop down there. And on this bit, we're clicking keyword planner. Now from here, we've got search volumes and forecasts, which we can get anyway by going through the discover new keywords first. So click on the discover new keywords arrow. All right, start with keywords. Now let's say, for example, let's do a pizza delivery business in Winchester in Hampshire. So the first thing you notice is that you've got in the bottom, so we've got language English, so you can change it if you want to change the language you're looking in. We're going to keep it in English for this one. You then need to say, this is where you can round it down by geographical location. So you see here, well, at the moment, we're just looking within the UK. So if we click this little cross, that gets rid of that. And you saw the blue area disappear on the United Kingdom. Enter a target location. So target location we're going to do, if we type in Winchester, You'll see a lot of Winchester options there. Now we obviously want Winchester United Kingdom. It says the reach is 252,000. Now if we zoom out, possibly if we're thinking we've got a pizza restaurant, maybe we're kind of looking for people in a little bit of a larger area, so potentially in a Hampshire area. So I'm going to click that cross and I'm going to retarget Hampshire. And as you can see, that's 3.3 million you've now got. Even that may be slightly large, but we'll, we'll go with that one for the minute. If you wanted kind of the ones a bit closer, you could say areas, say, of Winchester and Eastley. Let's try that. So and maybe add Southampton in there as well. So rather than looking over that huge area of Hampshire, which kind of included Portsmouth, those areas, we've now targeted just these three areas, which are these three, these three ones that are added up. But let's go, let's just go for targeting the whole area of Hampshire. So it's Hampshire, we're looking for search terms in. Click save. All right, so we've got a pizza delivery place. So let's try just typing in to start with. Let's just type in pizza and see what that comes back with. 
another thing you can do here as well is enter a, dom a domain to use as a filter. So you can put your website domain in there as well and click get results and that will give you ideas for keywords as well. So let's click get results and see what pizza gives us. Now firstly I'm going to click this arrow up here because that just gets rid of that part it means that we've got a large screen. Now this bit shows the search volume, how the search volume changes for the keyword pizza. Now down here this shows the keywords. Below it you've got keyword ideas. Next you've got average monthly search volume. And say for example if we go over to pizza, it shows the average monthly search volume is 6,600. Notice there, if I went from my mouse over there, the cursor over there, over to this part, that brings up the monthly search volume. So say for example, it seems to be a bit of a peak there. So February search volume in Hampshire for pizzas was 6,600. It seems to say roughly, roughly even throughout the year. All right, then you've got the competition. Now the competition obviously means how tough it is to get to the top of the page. Because whenever you type in something into Google and you see some adverts for it, for whatever you type in, there'll be some at the top of the page, some at the bottom of the page, and some even on the next page as well. So this saying the competition with pizza is relatively low. So this is to get to the top of the page, because you will be bidding to get to the top. Now this is the low end of the bid range. It shows the lower range of what advertisers historically paid. So this is saying what's the almost like the lowest end of the price that can get you on the top of the keywords. And this is the top, uh, the highest bid, the most you'll probably pay. So it's gonna be somewhere between these two. If you leave Google running, we'll look at this in a little while. If you leave Google to choose the price, it'll be somewhere between here. Um, now this can be, as you see, it's sort of 87p up to £2.43. These can be quite a wide range. We're going to show you how you can set your bids to make sure they don't go above that lower range, which can be useful in some circumstances. So let's have a look at the keyword pizza and some other ideas that it's offered us. If we scroll down, you can see that it's got pizza near me, pizza Domino's near me, pizza hut near me, um, Domino's pizza online, a pizzeria. I didn't think of that one actually. So pizza delivery near me. All right, and as you can see here, it's one to 10 of 900. I quite like to put it in as many kind of keywords as possible when they just keep scrolling to the bottom. All right, so to show you, so if we want to broaden our search, we can have add Italian food, add fast food, crust, uh, fast food item, takeaway food, authentic Italian food, pizza delivery. So it depends. We could be doing something which isn't just pizza delivery. We could be doing um, a fair bit of Italian food. So let's try and if we click that little plus, that is going to add. So now the keywords we're looking at. Okay, so if we've got pizza and Italian food in there, you can see Italian food has a much lower search volume compared to simply pizza but the average cost per click is much less. Now what you can do at this next stage is literally just go through and start to pick out the keywords that you like. So for example, I've got a pizza. I don't really like Italian food for this one because we're not, we're not doing something related to Italian food. We're just looking for pizza. So pizza near me is good. Domino's near me. I reckon someone's probably actually just looking for Domino's pizza. If my ad was there, I don't think they'd potentially click on it anyway. Pizzeria I might put in there. Pizza delivery. Pizza places near me quite like. So you can go through and keep on keep on searching down here and find what you like. Possibly margarita. Okay, and when you've got those done, you can click um, add to your plan. So you can use plan new ad group and you can call it broad match for the minute you don't have to worry about those too much and you can say add keywords so from there if you click on plan overview this shows you the keywords you've got in your keyword plan now what can be a good way of then looking at them is if you can download them 
and you can download them as a CSV file or Google Sheets. You can actually open them in Google Sheets or in a CSV file and have a look um, to filter them or have a look on another computer. Now if we go back to our keywords, another thing we can do, if we've got all of these down here, now I'm actually, actually going to take out Italian food because I don't really like that as a keyword. I'm going to put in, is there anything I like on there? Pizza near me, and you can see here, pizza near me is already in the plan. Now if I'm looking potentially for some cheap keywords, what I could do, so you can see here the arrow down means, and this highlighted one means at the moment we're doing keywords and we're sorting down by relevance. So if you want to maybe look at which one is the best for the top of the page for the lowest bid. So we can click on that and then that shows which one's the highest potential to get to the very top of the page. Now if we click on it again, that is now going to show you what's the lowest one to get to the top of the page. So at the moment it's all dominoes. Or again, if you want another way you could potentially do this is if you want to have a look at a high keyword search, so pizza is just the highest one at 87p. Um, so then we've got deals. Pizza near me is another good one to search and plan. Domino's vouchers could go pizza. So they're brand names. Um, we can click refine keywords and actually take out some of these. So if I went over there and I got rid of the Domino's keywords, I don't want Pizza Hut, don't want Papa John's, don't want Papa, uh, Pizza Express. So I don't actually want any of those to appear in it, just having a look at it. Don't want any retailer, don't want any other brands. Okay, so now I've taken out all of those brand keywords. Let's have a look at what we've got in there now. So other brands um, keywords have been removed. So now we've got these top three already kind of in the plan. Apparently Pizzalicious is one there as well. Might give that. Might give that a try. Uh, pizza delivery, yep. Pizza places, yep. Uh, pizza pan, yeah, I'll go for that one. Margarita pizza, yep. Pizza, maybe not pizza, oh, maybe pizza toppings, maybe, oh, I don't know, if someone's maybe searching pizza toppings, potentially they're making their own pizza. Or you might be doing a vegan pizza. Pizza takeaway near me is a good one. Pizza takeaway. Potentially pizza deals, pizza restaurants, pizza shop near me. So you can see by removing the brands and getting those out of the way, there's a lot more that you can have. You can add keywords. You can add. So you can add keywords. So all of these ones are now in the plan with the high monthly search volume. And actually, looking at the prices, there's quite a few good cheap keywords that could be definitely tested out here as well. Uh, pizza roll seems to have one. Let's add that one in as well. So doing this, you can build up a keyword plan. If you have a look at your plan, back to your plan overview. This has now got all of the potential keywords in, and you can actually download the list and start to have a look through these keywords and plan which ones you're going to include in um, in your ad groups.